Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janice and I make videos based off of my own experiences in college, graduate school, and now as a full-time software engineer in the tech industry. And about a year ago, I started a series and I wanted it to be about hot tech scenes that are not Silicon Valley. And I made one episode in that series and haven't made a single episode since then until today. This is episode two in that series and today I'm going to be talking about San Diego, which is my current home base. Silicon Valley is undoubtedly what many people think of when they think of hot tech scenes. As a result of having this reputation of being the world's premier hub for technology and innovation, engineers and tech entrepreneurs from across the world dream of moving there to be in the heart of the tech industry. And while I understand this dream, it's not mine. I'd much rather travel about 400 miles south to where I consider to be a smaller, better version where the population is not so homogeneous in terms of the industry people work in, the culture is way more laid back, but there's still an enormous amount of innovation and cutting edge technology. I'm talking about San Diego. While San Diego is known for its gorgeous year round weather, sandy beaches and surf culture, there's also a pretty well established, but rapidly growing tech scene. I started understanding the tech landscape in San Diego when I interned at Qualcomm back in 2017. Qualcomm, which is known for its wireless technology, including 5G, is headquartered in San Diego and is one of the city's largest employers. Other large tech companies like Amazon, Apple, and Google are also expanding in San Diego and Personal opinion, that was just inevitable if these companies were being strategic and followed the talent. I saw an article speculate that UCSD, or the University of California, San Diego, graduates more engineering students than Stanford and Berkeley combined, both of which are in the Bay Area slash Silicon Valley and have some of the best engineering and computer science programs in the country. I couldn't find the exact figures to back this up, but Regardless, UCSD still has really good engineering and computer science programs and definitely graduates world-class talent. There are two other major industries in San Diego that overlap with the tech industry and draw a lot of engineers, entrepreneurs, scientists, and creative minds to San Diego. And one of those industries is the life sciences slash biotech industry. I've even heard of San Diego being referred to as the Silicon Valley of biotech. And that designation is substantiated by the fact that there are approximately 2.8 times the number of biotech companies in San Diego as there are in San Francisco. Even just driving around San Diego, I see so much construction for new biotech and life sciences hubs. So this industry seems like it's on a trajectory to just dominate the San Diego tech scene. The other major industry is the defense industry, which is the second largest sector in San Diego's economy. San Diego has the largest concentration of military assets in the world, and as a result, is a prominent hub for defense technology, research, and innovation. I actually joined a defense tech startup in San Diego at the beginning of 2020 and learned that the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard all have a huge presence in San Diego. Work in the defense tech space covers engineering and R&D roles in areas such as satellite communications, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, and robots, just to name a few. Maybe half of the people that I know who work in tech in San Diego actually work in this space, so the presence of defense-related tech is really hard to ignore. Apart from the huge tech giants expanding in San Diego and the dominance of the biotech slash life sciences and defense industries, what many people don't know is that the startup scene in San Diego is also really strong. San Diego companies raised more in venture capital than other big tech hubs like Seattle, Austin, and Denver. In fact, companies in San Diego raised more VC dollars than companies in Austin and Denver combined. 
San Diego has a uniquely supportive startup community, at the heart of which are organizations like Startup San Diego and San Diego Tech Hub that aim to bring together entrepreneurs, investors, mentors, professionals, and students. It's a non-pretentious collaborative city, and it's no wonder people in San Diego have been building successful companies and becoming major contributors to Southern California's tech landscape. For anyone interested in understanding what life is like in this work-life equation, I can also give you my first-hand account of my experiences living in this beautiful city. As I mentioned, I first started learning about the culture of the city when I interned at Qualcomm back in 2017. And I would see people come in typically around like 9.30 or 10.30 and leave work sometime between like 3 and 5 p.m. And of course there were people who would still work eight hour days, typically like us interns, but this was the most chill work environment I had ever seen. And that's not necessarily a good or bad thing. It just reflects the culture of the city. People wore shorts and flip flops to work. And I know at a lot of tech companies, the dress is very casual, but I feel like people at Qualcomm took it to another level. Of course, my experience working at a startup was very different in terms of work hours and just having a job that I didn't feel like took away from my life outside of work. Like sometimes I remember being so mentally fatigued at the end of the day from just having a long work day. And I know a lot of people will say that people in tech have it better than so many other industries in terms of work hours. But I guess what I'm getting at is even if you work long hours, it's really nice to be able to mentally detach during your non-work hours, like going outside and enjoying fresh air and relaxing and getting a nice meal at a restaurant. You can do all of that in San Diego. We have some of the most amazing weather in the country and San Diego is not a city where you will hear people frequently talking about work when you're like at a coffee shop or at dinner. It's not super hustle and bustle, and to a lot of people it may seem like it's not a very happening city, but it's great for people who want to stay active and enjoy their life outside of work. And if you want to do more, like go to museums, go to shows and concerts, Los Angeles has a lot more of that stuff and it's only a couple hours drive away. I also love that people in San Diego work in very different industries. Even though I've been talking about how prominent the tech scene is here, we aren't all just like grinding away, trying to climb similar career ladders and competing with other people in the same line of work. Places where a lot of people are sort of doing very similar things are not very inspiring to me. And I like to see diversity of background and diversity of thought. The main negative for me about San Diego is just the high cost of living. And it is lower than the cost of living in the Bay Area, but I guess for me, that's just the most noticeable downside about living in San Diego. I mean, California taxes are high, home prices are high, gas is expensive. It's not cheap to live in San Diego, but a lot of people say that's the price you pay for good weather, and honestly, I make enough to support myself and to still save some money and to enjoy my life, so I shouldn't be complaining. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you didn't know a lot about the tech scene in San Diego, I hope you've learned some new things about a great city that's making huge waves in the tech industry. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button down below. Subscribe, of course, if you want, and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.